Hello and welcome to the Cat Virus Vet School videos. My name is Diane Addy. I am former head of diagnostic virology at the University of Glasgow Veterinary School. This series of videos is for veterinary professionals and undergraduate veterinary students. These videos count towards your continuing professional development or continuing education requirements. You may wish to download and print out a copy of the non-effusive diagnostic algorithm to have beside you during this film. If so, please press pause and go to www.catvirus.com. Click on the Downloads page and you'll find the flowchart available in many languages, thanks to our heroic band of translators. The algorithm in English is usually the one that's most up to date. I suggest you work through the first video using the FIT Diagnosis Algorithm or Worksheet, pressing pause whenever you need to. Right, let's get into it. This is Tommy. He was presented in 2009. Step 1 of the Diagnosis Algorithm is the history. He was obtained from a cat rescuer in 2006. At time of presentation, he was living in a stable three-cat household. In other words, there have been no new cat introductions into the household since 2007. He is an outdoor-indoor cat. Age was unknown, but clearly he is an adult, or at least of middle age. Not a kitten. Breed, domestic short hair, sex, male neuter. Step 2 of the Diagnostic Algorithm, the Clinical Signs. Presenting a clinical case by video isn't nearly as effective as being able to examine the cat yourself in real life, I'm sorry to say. However, you should be able to see Tommy's major presenting clinical signs from this short video and the still photograph. I'll just repeat that last bit and slow it down for you. So here are the questions for you to answer. What is the name of this condition? Which eye is the affected eye? How do you know which eye is affected? Please make a list of differential diagnoses for this condition. Step 3 of the FIP diagnostic algorithm is the in-house blood results. These are the in-house biochemistry results. These are the in-house hematology results. These are the results for FELV, FIV and feline coronavirus antibody. Question. Given your list of differential diagnoses and the conclusions you have drawn thus far, what test will you be requesting from the reference laboratory? The answer to these questions will all be revealed in subsequent parts of this video series. Please leave your comments below. Let me know if you think Tommy had FIP or not, and if not, what you think his diagnosis might be. Please let me know if you'd like to see more videos in this format. If you found this video useful, please like it and become a subscriber to this channel. Finally, I'd like to give a big thank you to the catvirus.com subscribers who are supporting me in the making of these videos. If you would like to see more videos like this one, please consider becoming a subscriber. The link to catvirus.com is in the notes below. See you in the next video. Thank you.